Welcome to our lecture online. This video is going to help us understand that there are different ways in which you can represent the same thing and it often causes a lot of confusion, especially when you start looking things up, let's say on the internet, and you find different ways of trying to represent the very same thing. For example, a diet which has nine components, three directions for each of the three phases of, let's say, a cube, notice that this is the common way in which you will find that these are expressed. Notice on the phase in the x direction, you have the direction perpendicular to the phase, which is the component which has a subscript xx, meaning you're on the x side of the cube and you're pointing in the x direction. And then we have the two other components. Here we have one that points in the y direction, one that points in the z direction. And notice in each case, the three vectors, which represent the three components of that particular direction, the x direction, they all start with the subscript x. And then the second sub subscript indicates the direction of where that component is pointing to, in the x direction, in the y direction, in the z direction. But over on this side, things are a little bit different. Notice that here, we have the direction in which it points first and then the direction where we are on the cube. For example, we're pointing in the x direction, we're pointing in the y direction, we're pointing in the z direction here, and we're on the x phase of the cube, the x phase of the cube, and the x phase of the cube. What's even more confusing is that the actual triad, or in this case I should say dyad, looks exactly the same in both cases. Notice that the subscripts of all the components, the increase going down and the increase going to the right. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Here we have one, two, three, one, two, three. One, of course, representing the x direction, y, two representing the y direction, and three representing the z direction. So I kind of mixed it up a little bit to see that you can use subscripts x, y, and z, or subscripts one, two, and three, and they mean the exact same thing. But what's different is that even though the matrix looks exactly the same, in the case that we use the subscripts like this, notice that this represents the basically the tensor components in this direction. So for example, on the x direction here, we have a vector pointing in the x, a vector pointing in the y, a vector pointing in the z, and that's represented by these three components. If we now go over here, we have a vector pointing in the x, a vector pointing in the y, a vector pointing in the z, but since we switched the subscripts, now we have to take a look at it like this. So these now represent the three directions on the x phase, here, these three represent the three directions on the x phase as well. So notice that's the basic difference between the two formats. Other than that, they mean exactly the same thing. And you can see that obviously there will be a lot of confusion. What's even more confusion is that typically the component 1, 2 has the same magnitude as the component 2, 1. So these basically have the same magnitude. So does these, so do, do these two. Typically, they have the same magnitude. They represent a different direction, but same magnitude, but essentially they represent the same thing on the, on the dyad. And so even though we have things going like this, over, oh, like this over here, and we have them going like this over there, since you could basically interchange these components, again, you're basically talking about the same thing, just a different representation. So try not to get confused. This is the most common way in which you will see this, and I will use this most commonly, but realize you'll run into this kind of representation as well. Don't be alarmed. Don't think, wow, there's something different going on. It's really the same thing, just in a different format. And that's how it goes. 